I just want to get this video over and done with. So to begin with, I'm wearing my work shirt and my work shirt has recently gotten wet. And uh, I don't like, I, it's a gross feeling. It's a really gross feeling of being wet. Um, but it is my work shirt and my favorite thing today was my work shirt. So I, I, wore, my work, I wore my work shirt. Anyway, um, <clears throat> aside from that, uh, I, I think I want to address something that's maybe a bit mystical, uh, maybe a little bit um, not in tune with reality. But my favorite movie is Dracula, uh, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, not Dracula Dead and Loving It, or not like some of the, you know, you, you, okay, I'll tell you one thing. Dracula, the uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, um, was extremely enjoyable to me, but I, I, I saw like a silliness in it. I, I saw like, um, and, and that probably has something to do with me reading the, the book. Uh, before I, before I, I saw the movie, or somewhere interwoven somewhere in there, I, I saw the book, and there were some inconsistencies that made Dracula look a little bit silly. Um, for instance, like you know, if he's the only one living in the castle, except for his his gypsy followers at the basement, like doing like you know like weird digging mud work. Um, that would have meant that Dracula would cook his own chicken. Like, uh, so when, when, um, oh, I had the name completely slipped right now. When Jonathan Harker basically visited the castle and he had, like, Hungarian or, uh, Transylvanian chicken for dinner, I mean, that would have been that a vampire was behind the stove, basically behind the stove cooking chicken for a guest and and that seems really silly and funny and like you know weird but on to other matters i mean you know and as the movie progressed like it, it became more and more intense um you know that scene in bram stoker's dracula when he was in the closet and he turned into like uh like a, a mound of rats um or even when he turned into a bat himself um, and, and he said, like, look what your God has done to me. Um, that was, that was kind of intense. And, um, uh, and, and you know, he kind of, you know, scoffed at the, at the flames that everybody was holding and all this stuff. Um, so what is my point? My point is, you know, um, I've been thinking about the way, you know, not that I've been thinking about the way, but I, I, I I've thought about Sam Harris's uh, take on drugs and, and, uh, you know, the fact that not that Sam Harris does drugs, but the fact that, um, he uses the experiential nature of drugs as, uh, as proof that people think differently. Um, so you, you, you think differently, like you, you there are possible ways of being that don't jive, that don't corroborate, or that don't um, assimilate with regular thinking. And we all know this. Uh, we all understand that. And I, I, I think maybe what I was trying to do with the Dracula thing is to show that at one point in the movie, um, they said that he can appear, he can appear as vapor, as mist, as as different animals, and you know. And I thought that was a very interesting. Um, take between reality in, in terms of Sam Harris's take on drugs and what art, like say a movie, if you could call movies art, um, what movies say about um, about the, the differential or um, different differences in, in in the way of viewing the world, um, and I guess in terms of my synthesis, I would have to say that. I don't believe that drugs are always a way of of alternating or altering your state of mind. I, I feel like there is a because because like Samer says, you know, because drugs prove that there are, can be alternate ways of thinking and being and, and thinking about basically life and, and your and everything. Um, I feel that that is proof without the chemicals that. That we, that we 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 can think 
different ways and we can we can have thoughts that are outside of what is what is hegemonic and what is homogeneous um so that's that's my big thought on that um i don't have much else to say um yeah and uh but i feel you know i i feel like the drugs do it, even if you aren't on drugs <laughs> you know you when you when you think differently and and have a different perception of the world it's not necessarily you trying to do that it's just it, it is something that is just happens to you um but it's also kind of looked down upon and and ridiculed um and i'm not sure that that that's the right way of going about things um for people that have you know i mean you know like i mean i see homeless people on the street all the time um you know making their making their claim for for donated money and most of it is i don't have the money i use change like i myself like use every part of change but i mean they're the way that they go about asking for money is very strange and very very odd um but you know before i start looking like an asshole i'll end it there bye